Hey guys, so in the last video we covered authentication. We created a auth guard as well as the user decorator um, to, act, to gain access to the token that's being passed in the authorization header. Okay, let's get rid of this and also let's get rid of the auth guard from our API users route because that was mainly just for testing purposes and we can get rid of this console log now and uh, let's just do a commit really quick so we get rid of all this green highlighting and what's a good message um, added authentication authentication there clear alright <clears throat> so in this video we're just gonna expand our relationships uh, so we need to actually get the idea entity referencing the user and also the user identity entity uh, referencing the ideas so it'll be somewhat of an ownership type of relationship so one user could have many ideas the ones that he authored and an idea could just be all owned by one user. Okay, so let's first uh, do a yarn start dev. Do, do, do. Uh, leave that running. And <clears throat> we'll use this terminal to uh, work. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, let's see, we're going to edit the entity. And which one do I want to do first? Uh, let's do the idea. We're going to have to edit both of them just because they're going to reference each other. But let's start here. Now the relationship here is going to be a many to one. And I usually do have to look it up because I forget which side means which one. But the left hand side references the current entity and then the right hand side is the other one. And let's see, I'm gonna do author, which is of type user entity, and that we're importing in. Let's make sure we add a space. And the decorator takes in two parameters, a callback that takes the type, and also the the reference. Uh, ideas. Now, author.ideas doesn't exist because the user entity doesn't have that property yet. But we're going to add it right here. And this is going to be a one to many. So the opposite or inverse relationship as the ideas. This is going to be just ideas, which is of type idea entity array. And this, this is going to be type um, idea entity and idea is going to be idea dot author. <clears throat> now that we have the correct parameters in our size of our entity, uh, things should be looking happy now. And uh, I believe that's it. Uh, one last change I want to add to the idea entity is I want to add a update date column updated uh, that way we could check um or we have metadata on it to know when the idea was created as well as when it was updated uh, I don't think we need that on the user because we're not gonna update the users other than maybe the password but go ahead um, but yeah, that should be it. Now we just need to actually get everything um, hooked up. So we could probably exit these. And they should light up. For some reason they're not. But um, okay, I guess. Let's get rid of this. Let's go to our idea controller. 
as well as our idea of service. Um, okay, so one last thing we need to do is in our module, we also need to give our idea module access to the user entity so that we <coughs> we have access or we have we have the ability to use users from our database um, hopefully that's not too confusing so yeah let's get back to our service and now we're just gonna add the relationship everywhere but first we need to inject the repository so inject repository user repository repo no user entity I mean private user repository of type repository of type user entity okay that's a mouthful so <clears throat> let's uh, let's see so everywhere there is <clears throat> a find, we're gonna actually add relations of type, and then the relationship is in this case is called author. So we need to add that in author, and uh, make sure this is still running. Cool, and uh, let's test it out. So ideas. Oh, that's right. There's no data in here. So let's uh. Let's register. Boop. Let's make sure we have the token just in case. In the headers. Bear token. Get the ideas. There's no ideas. Let's make an idea. Do we need to let's actually edit our create to send back the the user. So let's see. Um do 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 where did I put that? Okay, so const idea const user equals await this dot user repository dot find find one where id is equal to oh we don't have it yet all right let's let's make sure we have that uh sh that's gonna give us an error but in our controller we need to uh make sure we're getting the user objects which is in here let's add it right here Use guards, new auth guard, and then let's do uh, user ID. And then our service, let's add it to the first one, so user ID. It's gonna be it's just gonna be a string. And pass that in here as user. Save and save. Okay. Um let's see. We're also using a logger here. I'm actually gonna make a private method. Private uh log data. Let's do options here. And options is going to be a, a an object of type any. And we're just going to do this. Options.id and and this.logger.log um, What is it? Yeah, it's going to be a string called ID and uh, let me check really quick. Service entity controller. Here we go. So 
the idea is actually the idea. And we're going to json.stringify id. Options that idea, I mean. We're going to do similarly the same thing for the body and also the user. So body. Uh, body. JSON.stringify options dot body and options dot user dot log user there we go JSON dot stringify options dot user Save. So this way we don't have to um, individually log everything one by one like this. We just call a method. We just do this dot log data, and we pass in the object, which right here is user and data. Also go away, jeez. Um, so I think body actually has to be data. So uh, data. Uh, we just call this this yeah that's fine data so we're passing a user the data and we're gonna log both of them and uh, do 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 we have access to the user and the idea and that we mean all we have to do is make sure the idea is pushed into the user and the user is pushed into the idea. So, uh, one second, and make sure I do this correctly. Do, 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 do. So, it's gonna look something like this. Dot 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 data and then author is going to be of type user. There we go. That's all we have to do. Um, we also have to make sure we sanitize the user before we return it. So we're going to spread out the idea and make sure author is going to be idea dot author dot to response object. Save and let's the let's go test this out. So post to ideas, which is our create method, and idea description is gonna be our body. Send and there we go. Which we have the token coming back, which is not good, but if we look at our our logger, we have the user coming back as well as the data. And we just need to make sure that we pass in the boolean to turn off the token. Which, in hindsight, I should have made this default to true and uh, whatever. It's too late now. But if we, let's see, just make a new one. Now the token doesn't come back. We have the associated user and we have the idea. All right. Now we just need to apply the same logic to each of all of our other routes. And I'm actually gonna put this into a its own function. So in here, let's make a private method and call it to response object return uh ba 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 be dot dot oops dot 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 idea author is idea dot no not it yeah idea dot oh my god hold on idea dot author dot to response object I'm gonna pass in an idea of type idea entity and then we can just do a this dot to response object idea 
Also make sure this is set to false. And do, 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 do. so now to change our show all, we're gonna edit the actual ideas array like so. We'll do a return ideas dot map idea, and then this dot to response object of that idea. And to test that out, we'll just go to the root route. And there we go. We have both ideas. We have the user that created it. And we don't have any access information, like the token or the password. Cool. OK. Now we just have to do this all over the place. Um, I'm actually going to change the, or not change. I want to add a return type. And it's just going to be idea response object. I'll just put it in here. Export class idea response object. Then what are we getting back? We get ID created updated idea. So it's going to be ideas a string updated is a string is a string um to, 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 to idea description description and if you remember our delete route the ID is missing so we're just gonna make it optional and then finally author is gonna be a user response object. Now the user response object, I'm pretty sure the token is optional, so let's just check really quick. And it is. Perfect. And now we just add <coughs> this everywhere. So this is going to be a promise, because it's async, of an idea response object array. And this is going to be a promise of an idea response object, which it is. Make sure the read also does the same thing. Idea response object, and it isn't. And this is a, a good case of when the type will actually help you debug, because I actually forgot to do that. So let's make sure we get the relations of author. And return this dot to response object of that idea. Update, of course, is going to be idea response object. And this dot to response object of idea. And let's see, update also needs to get the user. So, let's see. Um, <clears throat> first, let's test our read. So, let's just use this ID. What the hell happened? Date is not assignable to type string. Oh. Oops. These two are supposed to be dates. Okay. Go again. There we go. Cool. Uh huh. Okay. Close this. So our read works perfectly. And then update and delete. We have to hide behind the guard because we don't want someone else to update or destroy the idea without them being the the user that created it. So let's uh, make sure we add those in. So the put needs a use guard. New auth guard. And then we also want to put in the user, which I'm going to go with the, we're putting it over here. <clears throat> so user. And we just want the ID of type string 
I'm going to change this to this dot blog data. And now we have all three. So we just ID, data, and user. Oops, user. I'm putting it in, in the format of ID, user, and then data, just so it's predictable everywhere. So we save that. It's going to crash because we need to update the service, which we will do right here. OK. Uh, user ID is a string. Um, hmm. I'm also going to change, go away. Um, user ID is also a string here. We're just going to break our destroy over here, which is fine. ID, user, oops, not user, uh, use guards, new auth guard. And let's just do this dot log data. ID user user. Alright. Let's see. Uh, are we logging data everywhere? Read, I don't think we actually care. Alright, cool. Now we just need to make sure that there we're ensuring the correct user. And since uh both of them are going to be using the same logic. I'm just going to make another private method up here to kind of make our code a little more dry. And I'm just going to call it ensure ownership, which we need to have access to the idea entity as well as the user ID. And uh, let's see if uh, idea dot dot author dot id is not equal to <coughs> um, user id, then we're gonna throw an error. Throw new HTTP exception incorrect user, and this is gonna be a HTTP status of unauthorized. Otherwise, uh, this method won't do anything. So that's about it. So all we need to do in the update and delete is make sure that we're getting the relationship of author here as well. Author. And then we just need to add it the method um, right before any operations is made. So after this, if block should be fine, so this dot ensure ownership of the idea as well as the user ID. Alright. And that should do it. What's this error? Create route param function is deprecated. Please use create param wrap. Okay. So that would be over here. Right? There. That should work. Okay. Um, let's go back down. Make sure things are still working correctly. Cool. Let's do a update really quick. Um, description updated, send, something's not right, do, 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 unhandle type error, get status, not a function, ah, let's just change this really quick, um, to, uh, Let's see. Exception dot get status. Uh, P status dot internal server error. 
Do, 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 do. Turn off. Let's see. Um, that's not how I want to do it. I still want it to be no. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's make it an if. So status equals to status dot internal server error. Um, it is not equal to that. And uh, exception filter error response. Let's make a if. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, status equals to status dot internal server error console dot error. Um, that would be the exception. So now our server won't time out whenever we get a, a bad error that we're not handling. And uh, we should be able to see it in our console. So let's try that again. Internal server error. And the stack says cannot read property to response object of undefined. And that is because the user is not defined somewhere. Service. So ensure ownership idea user ID. Um, I believe that's it. Relations. Idea repository, do do do. Idea repository, delete, turn ID. Alright, that should do it. Um, yeah, let's, let's try that again. Update. There we go. <clears throat> so the idea has been updated. We also have an updated time. And which is different from the create time, and we are returning the user. And now, finally, we can test if it deletes properly. And let's actually test if we are not allowed to, and if we are allowed to. There we are, and we are getting the token, so we need to also make this. Um, this dot to response object idea and uh, yeah I guess I forgot to do that send all right now we gotta delete the other one okay now we can delete something that exists and make sure that it's deleted properly. And there it is. No token, no password. Authors display correctly and the ideas correctly. And now we don't have any ideas, so let's just go ahead and make a couple. Post, post again. Let's make one that doesn't have the updated flag on it. And now we have three ideas, cool. Now we just need to check users. And inside of users, we just want to add the relationship 
and we can call it a day. So in our entity, not our entity, our service is going to be in here. All right, call this relations of ideas, I believe is what we called it in our entity. And also, since we're passing it through the to response object method, we are also going to add another flag if um, this dot idea, then let's see, response object dot ideas equals this dot ideas. Uh, this will, this flag will only work if this is in the if statement instead of the destructure because in case we're not calling the relationships we are not going to pass it back which is what we're doing in the login and register because there's no ideas to start with so it would be a little unnecessary to add the relationship here okay so just do another users and there we go we have one user who has three ideas Okay, so quite a lot of things just to add a relationship, but it's definitely necessary. And in the next video, I actually don't remember what else is on the timeline, so let's go check our project. So user stories authentication, check. Crowd the ideas, check. Upvote and downvote, bookmarks, and comments. So these are the three things next to do. Um, I think the WebSocket might be easy, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to pick one of these three to do in the next video, and I'll see you guys in